Zebra 20 and Zebra 21, one minute ETA to the pursuit. 10 4, units in the pursuit. SWAT has a one minute ETA. Everyone copies. All right, we got ourselves a uh, murder suspect that is running in a box truck right now. They called in the SWAT team, and guess what? The SWAT team shall receive them. We will receive your suspect. We will get your suspect ready. Wrap it up in a bow and give it to you whenever you need assistance. So let's go. Suspect is going down the neighborhood street right now, continuing down the street. Just made a right hand turn, right hand turn, and be continuing. Now made another right hand turn is going to be heading towards the main road. All right, as you can see, well, you can't really see it right now, but they have a helicopter overhead. And oh, there they are. Perfect. There is the Air One right there, clutching up, giving us all the ops that we need. And let's, there you go. We're going to get to the very, very back of the pursuit, basically. That's our job, is to get to the back and eventually work our way up. But basically, we're just here in case he foot bails or he does anything foolish. Then boom, we'll be ready to go. Air One, the ground unit is going to be continuing. Going to be going towards the freeway now. Going to be going now over the bridge. Going to be continuing over the bridge. Speeds around 30 miles an hour. And going to be continuing down the road. Now going to be making a right hand turn into the neighborhoods. And going to be continuing forward. Let's keep it going. Boom. Look at that. The double bear cat. It's not just one bear cat. It's two. Unit is going to be slowing down. Be ready for a possible foot bail. Basically what we're trying to do right now is to limit the public issues. And by public issues I mean public safety because you know he's a murder suspect. So he's already going to get life in prison more than likely. So nothing is really preventing him from you know murdering somebody else again so that's why we're here as well but basically we have to be on our toes ready for a foot bail so just look out for that at all times and then we'll be good to go now granted as you can see this is the reason why we're not in front because we are big old slow cars so you know you can't really be primary in the pursuit due to our slow nature oh my god look at that see they were able to go all the way curve through all that by the time that we were able to just now show up let's go suspect going to be continuing over the bridge Suspect now making a right-hand turn. Now gonna be going ahead and making a left-hand turn and continuing through the neighborhoods. Also, you may be asking, why not just do a roadblock? Why not? I know that we will be pretty safe inside, but for him, we're trying to make this suspect, you know, make it out alive. All right. Because if you wanted a dead suspect, you would just, you know, have somebody just hop out the car and just boom, just dome him in the head as he drove past. But we're trying to make sure this guy, you know, comes out alive, still gets his day in court, still gets to go to trial, and all of that. Units in the pursuit, per the watch commander, do we have a unit in the pursuit that can set of spike ships away from the neighborhood so we have a clear downrange now that we have SWAT on scene? To Hotel 4, I can set up spike ships on the road that leads to the Freely. 10-4 Hotel 4, you can set up spike ships on the road that is far away from the shop or the shopping center on that freeway exit. To Hotel 4, 10-4, do you want me to set up spike ships on the freeway exit? Negative to Hotel 4 and set up spike strips on the road that leads to the freeway entrance and exit. To Hotel 4 at 10 4, I'll get in position with the spike strips momentarily. To Lookout 4, for the watch commander, disengage with the pursuit and get into position with the spike strips as soon as possible. To Hotel 4 at 10 4, I'll get in position with the spike strips momentarily. Look at that, even this box truck, you would think, big old truck. Guess what, buddy? Bear cats have more armor, even if that thing was fully loaded. Hotel 4, do you have the spike strips ready because the box truck is currently headed your direction? You can be making another left hand turn. To Hotel 4, are you ready with the spike strips? To Hotel 4, negative, unable to get into position in time. To Hotel 4, per the watch commander, disengage with the pursuit, pull over, and contact the watch commander via landline. To Hotel 4, copies. We're gonna try, dude. I keep saying we gotta, you know, try to pit him in this and that. Look, we can't even catch up to that guy. You can't pit the driver if you can't catch up to the driver. Zebra 20, we're gonna attempt to do a pit maneuver on the driver. We're gonna have the two Bearcats take the lead in the pursuat. Initial Bearcat is gonna pit the driver. Second Bearcat is gonna box him in. The initial pit is going to then box him in on the other side. We're gonna go from there. 10-4, Zebra 20 is going to attempt to pit maneuver the driver. They're gonna have the two Bearcats take Let's the lead go. in the pursuit. Oh, the initial freeway. Bearcat is going to pit the driver. The second Bearcat is going to box him in. The initial pitting Bearcat is then going to box him in from the other side. And he's gonna go forward from there. Here one, the suspect's going to be entering the freeway. This will be about five units in pursuit. Speeds are gonna be out 60 miles an hour. Traffic's gonna be light. Weather conditions are still gonna be uh, He's going onto the freeway and uh, I was gonna just try and, you know, hit him right there. Well, he's about to enter the freeway because that was the only time he's kind of slowing down, but this is all we got. Look at this. 
We're going the same speed as him. You guys kept saying, bring in the bear cat to pit. Bring in the bear cat to pit. The bear cat can't, pa uh, can't catch up. You could probably catch up to like a bus or something, but not this thing. Oh yeah, look at us go. Zero one, he's gonna be making a U-turn. He's gonna be heading back down the highway. He's now gonna be making the first exit. Taking the first exit off. He's still have about five units in pursuit. It's gonna be three patrol cars and two bear cats. It's gonna be continuing further down the road. Speeds are gonna be about 48 miles an hour. Traffic is going to be light, still weather is going to be fair, and he's now going to be heading back into the neighborhoods. 10-4, suspect is off the freeway, there's fighting is in pursuit, two bear cats, three patrol cars, continuing further down the road, speeds are 40 ish miles an hour, traffic is light, weather is fair, and going back into the neighborhoods. Air 1, suspect speeds decreased to 21 miles an hour. 10-4, speeds decreased to 21 miles an hour. Zebra 20, while we have these low speeds, the Bearcats are going to attempt to become primary in the pursuit. Hotel 3, can you pull over to the road so we can become primary? Hotel 3, pass on the right. Thank you, sir. The Bearcats are now going to be primary in the pursuit. The two Bearcats, we're going to be basically making circles right now, and we're going to be primary in the pursuit until either the truck speeds up, or we have sufficient units to enact our box-in plan. 10-4, the two Bearcats are now primary in the pursuit, Zebra 20 and Zebra 21. The Bearcats are going to remain primary in the pursuit until the truck either speeds up or they have sufficient units for a box-in plan. Air 1 to 2 Hotel 4, do you know if you're still in the pursuit or if you're in your position ready with spike strips? 2 Hotel 4 to Air 1, for the watch commander, I'm going to be permanently disengaged from the pursuit. No spike strips, no direct pursuit. However, I will be on standby and waiting for the pursuit termination to occur. Then I can help with containment. But we're trying to get in position here so we can get a pit. Basically, the same way they do a regular pit where, you know, you pit the guy and then, you know, you have another unit, you know, box him in. It's just like that, but with Bearcats. That's why we got to have, you know, two Bearcats, basically. Air 1, the suspect is making a left turn. is now going to be making another left-hand turn to enter the shop parking lot. It appears to be a dead end. It's going to be the pursuit termination point. Do we have the additional units rolling right now? Additional units to respond to help us with containment. Two Hotel 4. Two Hotel 4. Two John 2. Two John 2. Two John 3. Two John 3. Break, break, break. Zebra 20. The suspect is going to be exiting the parking lot. He's going to be continuing on. He's more than likely going to do another circle, so we're going to get ready for our boxing maneuver in the alleyway. Also, units continue to respond. Dispatch can give us a head count of the units that are responding. 10 for Zebra 20. All patrollings that are responding that aren't already on scene are going to be. 2 John 2, 2 John 3, 2 John 4, 2 John 5, 2 Elto 4, 2 Lincoln 4, 2 Sam 2, 2 George 2, 2 George 3, and 2 Blake 2. Zebra 20 to Zebra 21. Box, box, box. Go for the box. We're going to box him in this alleyway right here. This match, we're going to have the suspect boxed in in the alley. We have a beer can in front. We have a beer can in the rear currently completely blocking them in. SWAT team is currently deploying. 10 for a vehicle is boxed. The SWAT team deploying. Yeah, we got him boxed up. All right. Sniper man, go on the roof. Sniper man to the roof. Let's get this SWAT team ready to go. Here, one to the incoming units that are going to be on containment. I'm going to have a unit to the back right that's going to block off that road. A unit to the top right, based on the truck's direction, to block off that road, completely seal off the helipad and the basketball court. A unit in front of the truck, that road right there. It's a three-way intersection. Another unit on the left-hand side of the truck. It's going to be inside the cul-de-sac, another unit blocking off the cul-de-sac, and then a third unit to block off the entranceway to the other road based on the cul-de-sac. All right, let's hop on the PA here. Actually, no, I don't want to be in front of him. Perfect. We got units right there. Perfect. It's blocked in. All right. All units that are en route to the exterior containment switch over to ITAC-1 for coordination and communication once again. All units that are en route to the exterior containment switch over to ITAC-1. This is the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Driver of the truck, step outside with your hands up. We have you surrounded. Our beat, we have you surrounded. All right, let's make sure before he actually steps out that we have every route blocked off. And then we'll be good to go. Attention all units, attention all units. Citywide patch is now open. The following units have been authorized by their respective watch commanders to respond code 3 to assist Southeast Area Commandants with a containment on a murder suspect. 2 Lincoln 5, 2 Ocean 1, 2 Paul 4, 2 Robert 1, 2 Victor 2, 2 X-Ray 3, 2 George 2, 2 Adam 4, 2 William 3, 2 Mary 3. 
All inner containment and SWAT units switch over to tactical one. Patch and Just spoke with the informant. She said she had a big red. Sergeant Gray to the meeting room. Sergeant Gray to the meeting room. SWAT units on the arrest team. Come to the basketball court. We're going to have a briefing with the lieutenant once she arrives on scene and come up with a plan. All right. We got our SWAT team stacked up. Let's do it. Sir, put your hands up. Sir, get out of the truck. All right, sir. Step out of the truck and face the truck. There you go. Don't move. All right. The officer here is going to put you in handcuffs. And there you go. We're going to be code four. Suspect taken into custody.